Kia ora. my name is Glenn Vickery and welcome to my YouTube channel Kiwi Bushcraft and Survival and today I'm going to um, show you my uh, water filtration system that I uh, have I just purchased it recently um, and um, I've just been basically setting it up as to how I'm going to uh, use it um, and I thought I'd share that uh, with others out there that might be interested um, in a filtration system, water filtration system. So as you know, um, water is uh, vital to our survival and um, not just water but clean water um, is the utmost of importance. Um, an example of that was uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki where they got bombed by the atomic bomb back in uh, World War II. Uh, most of the people that survived the initial blast uh, died from uh, drinking the water, okay, it radi uh, had radiation in it. Um, not only that, um, many people worldwide uh, have become sick from viruses in water, uh, bacteria and um, other nasties that uh, you can get from the water. Um, so um, we can only last um, three days approximately uh, without water um, so uh, for us human beings and any other creature for that matter um, water is vital we need it so um, it's uh, one area that I've spent a lot of money on um, more than other areas to ensure clean water in case of disaster or anything else um, to keep your family um, alive okay all right, so the uh, product that I went for was the um, uh, the soya, all right, down here, soya, uh, complete water f complete water purification system, okay, and the actual item number for this is uh, SP one nine four, the SP one nine four or Sierra Papa one nine four. Um, and the reason why I went for this particular product, um, it effectively purifies your water. It doesn't just filter it, it purifies it. Um, and it does almost everything you need a water purification system to do. Okay, um, It uh, does 4 litres um, and uh, 4 litres of good clean drinking water. Um, that you can hold in a bag uh, that I'll show you shortly and um, it's quite good okay uh, the the main thing about this product here is that uh, the actual filter itself which is I'll show you sort of a that's what it sort of looks like um, this particular filter here goes down to uh, an absolute uh, 0 0.02 microns okay so that's one of the smallest if you can imagine a micro small uh, holes or filtration system um, that will stop uh, almost everything from going through it okay um, probably this is probably one of the best you can get on the market at the moment Okay, um, so what will it stop? I'll just quickly go into it so you can get an idea of the uh, importance of the actual system itself. Okay, it stops uh, obviously waterborne diseases such as uh, bacteria. Um, I'll give you some examples of what it stops with the bacteria. Uh, cholera, uh, botulism, um, typhoid, uh, excuse some of my pronunciation, I might get it wrong, omebic om om dysentery, um, E. coli, coliform bacteria, uh, streptococcus, and salmonella. Okay, and those are some examples, um, for example. And with those, it stops 99.999% uh, 
of those uh, bacterias. So basically, you may as well say 100%, it will stop them. Okay. Um, the next type of waterborne disease that it stops is uh, proto protozoan or cysts. And some examples of that would be Giardia, which is um, uh, very common worldwide. Okay. Um, Cryptosporidium and Cyclospora. Okay. And it stops the same amount. So 99, well, let's, I'll be more direct. Yeah. 99.999%. Um, of protozoans, okay, so you might as well say a hundred percent and The other one it stops which is very important about the 0.02 micron uh, Product that this is is it stops viruses which most Filtration systems will not stop Okay, so for example um, Hepatitis A uh, polo virus Norwalk Virus, uh, rotavirus, cleno, clenovirus, hepatitis E, uh, coxsackievirus, ecovirus, rheovirus, astrovirus, coronavirus, or otherwise known as SARS, which most of us have heard about on um, the news over recent years. Okay, and that stops up to 99.9997%. Okay, so they're giving that little bit of leeway there as far as um, the viruses. But you may as well say, all right, you round that off, that's 100% as well. So, um, yeah, you, it, <laughs> to some degree, cannot be beaten. And, and it's... It's all about the filter. Now this particular product here, um, as I said, the main part of the product is the filter, which is the um, uh, 0.02 micron filter. Okay, that's, that's the key to this system. Um, it is a gravity system, which means um, you hang the product up and it, the, you put the bad water in the top and it will go through the filter system and come out at the bottom uh, clean. All right? And drinkable and safe to drink. Um, you could boil your water, and I still have a, a system to be able to boil my water. Um, however, there can be times where you can't boil your water. Okay, um, it may be uh, in a situation, for example, in a tactical situation, uh, for example, in the military or. Uh, in a part of the world where you cannot light a fire, you cannot make a fire. So let's just say you cannot make a fire, you don't have the materials to do it. Or two, you can't, um, even if you have the materials, you can't light the fire. Okay, um, you can't get one going for whatever reasons. Or number three, you could get a fire going, but you don't want a fire going because fire um, can be seen from a long distance away especially at night time, okay, and um, uh, whoever, you might be uh, not wanting to be found, okay, or be seen, okay, because that can get you killed very quickly, so you may not want to light a fire, okay, the second reason is a fire not can only be seen from a long distance away um, through the flames and the light, but also from the smoke can be seen from a long distance away, and even if it's at night time with the smoke, it can still be smelt. Okay, so um, uh, two things that will give you away uh, that could get you killed, okay, in a tactical situation is, is, is where the other people can find you. Okay, and that is the one thing you don't want in those type of scenarios. Now, if you can boil your water, fine. Boiling your water will do it. But if you can't, for whatever reasons, you want something similar to this that's going to do the job for you. Okay, the only thing that this won't do is um, it won't um, take out heavy metals, okay, as in um, 
could be feed off from um, fertilizers, that type of chemicals and things like that, uh, or heavy metals coming off um, farm properties or around industrial areas and things like that. So that's where a um, charcoal filter, preferably an activated charcoal filter, uh, comes into play. And I've just done a video, uh, a couple of videos um, of how to make an activated charcoal filter um, that you can refill as you go. And that particular filter can add directly straight into the system. Um, and therefore, it is the perfect system where you can fil purify water, okay, uh, filter and purify water to make it safe to drink. All right. So that's the front of the box there, if anybody's interested. Um, and I'll show you the sides as well. So I've showed you that side already. All right, some writing there if anybody wants to read that. Okay, the back of the, um, look, I'll just go up slowly. So you can always uh, pause it if you uh, need to. Alright, and the uh, side of the uh, box. For anybody that is... Um, interested in the uh, item okay so uh, let's uh, have a look at, at, at the basics of the system the basic system that I have and um, starting from the top here um, this is uh, what we used to use in the military um, and it is a uh, called a mill bank bag okay and um, I'm not going to show you how to use it there's other videos online of showing people how to use it but basically, it's like a it's like a sock, okay, with a particular type of uh, material. So it's nothing too flash, but basically, you pour the water into here from your dirty water source out of a pond, a stream, a lake, uh, whatever, wherever you get the the, the, the water from, in a um, from out of a uh, the cistern in a toilet, from out of uh, a hot water cylinder, wherever you can get your water from, your water source, you put it into here. Okay, um, you can scoop it up, or you can uh, use a um, a bottle, or you can use a uh, cups canteen, or whatever you want to use. Okay, uh, you fill your water up, you let it drain down to this black line here. You can see the black line here. You fill it up, you let it drain down to that black line, and then from there, as the water start is is dripping through, you can fill up your um, your main dirty bag. Okay, I'll just come down, sorry. You could, as the water drips out of your uh, mill bank bag, you can fill it directly straight into your um, uh, your dirty bag, which and I've got currently my dirty bag is in here. Okay, and, um, or you can go straight from the mill bank bag into a cup or a, or a bottle or whatever. Make sure it, you're, you're happy with it. And then pour it straight into your dirty bag. So all the mill bank bag is doing here is straining out things like twigs, um, bits of algae, insects, um, sand, dirt, um, any any other crap. So it all all the crap sinks to the bottom here of the uh, mill bank bag, but the the the, the, the water um, goes straight through. Okay, and you then allow that water somehow, like I just explained, whatever you want to go into this uh, dirty bag. You fill this dirty bag, this dirty bag will fill up to uh, four litres of uh, water, okay, um, or to whatever amount you need. You don't need to carry four litres, but um, if you do, then you do. I'm pretty sure it's four litres, this one here. It might be two litres here and two litres at the bottom, or four litres here and four litres at the bottom. I, I, I don't know. Um, all I know is it's, a, it's enough water that you, you know, it's a good amount of water that you need. Um, then from there, um, you can either take your carry bag here, uh, as, as I've got in a backpack. And the reason why I've got it in here is just to protect it. Okay, it's a, it's a, this is just an old uh, military... Uh, bag that I have um, 
um, what you'd call bastardised it, cut it up or whatever to fit uh, the uh, bag that I want, the, the um, dirty bag. Okay, then from there I've got it going through a small tube here, okay, and then... <coughs> And this valve, <clears throat> I'll just release this valve here. These all quick disconnects. This valve here is um, a female end, but it's got a valve on it, which means the water will not come through here unless I clip the male. I'll zoom it in a bit. Okay, so the female one here has a valve in it. And that will not release water unless you put the male end in, connect in to it. Okay, so what I do is, I'll just release this. I've got a small uh, double male ended um, piece of tube here, okay. And I connect wherever I want to do this. If I want to do this back at um, your campsite, or if you want to do it at your water source, that's fine, okay. And plug that in. And this is my minimalist uh, gear. I do have other gear that I'm going to show you when I pull all this apart. So the dirty bag that's in the camouflage back backpack here, I will pull that out shortly and I'll show you it all. Okay, so that clicks into there. So now that dirty water that's in here currently, well, it's, it's, it's still dirty water. It's still got the bacteria, it's still got E. coli, it still could have viruses in it or whatever, it's still in there, okay? What happens then is we connect the the water filtration system here, the filter, the soya filter. Now this is the this is the um, key to the whole system. This is this is the main part. This is uh, the 0 0.02 micron filter. Okay, this is the, the best on the, one of the best on the market that you can currently get. Okay, um, so what we do there is you put the female end into. I'll just go back this little double one here that I showed you. That's just that's got no valves on it. The water will just flow straight through. Okay, so as soon as you clip that in, the water's going to flow straight through. All right. The next part of the item is the filter, as I said, the soil filter. 0 0.2, 0 0.02 micron, and that clips in there, male to female. Okay, the water will filter through this and pick up all of your, um, uh, it'll pick up all of the nasties that I just mentioned um, earlier, right, in the micron filter here. The next thing I have, and I, as I just said, I've um, shown some videos on it, is the, just get this other piece off, is the charcoal filter. Now the charcoal filter, activated charcoal filter, or charcoal filter, this is refillable, um, it's a DIY, so do it yourself, um, and I've made this um, to make the system 100% where I'm absolutely 100% happy to drink the water and for my family to drink the water in an emergency situation. Okay, or even, not even in an emergency situation, even if you're out backpacking, uh, in the bush, hunting, um, doing whatever, and you want fresh water on you, okay, if you're camping up for the night or whatever. Okay, this will take out, as I said, the heavy metals and, um, uh, heavy metals and fertilizers and stuff like that out of it out of the water okay um, so this is a 100% backup All right so what that this here does is the carbon filter with the female end at the top and the male end at the bottom just like the the, the 0 0.02 micron filter female at the top male at the bottom and I like doing it that way because that way at night time if you can't see for some reason you can still feel Okay, you know, female at the top, male at the bottom, and you can feel it and you can fit it in. Alright? And it just clips in. That's what they call them, quick disconnects. Or quick connects, quick disconnects. Okay, from there, 
as the water goes through the uh, activated carbon or just straight carbon straight from your um, that you got from your firewood okay we then <coughs> clip it into I've got a uh, smaller hose here okay um, and we clip that in right into there and then that goes into our clean bag what we call a clean bag and this is a uh, this is where all our clean water goes into okay um, and <clears throat> once it's full of clean water it'll take about 15 minutes okay 15 minutes or so to clean your water through gravity so you, you, you can set it up and just walk away come back 15 20 minutes half an hour later whatever you want and it's done your water in here is clean and ready to drink okay the next thing you do is you disconnect it and this valve here is automatically it's a it's it's this quick disconnect here has a valve on it as well okay so the water will not come out of it once you disconnect it it will not come out what we do then <coughs> is we just zoom back a bit what we do then is we can hang this here up from anywhere we want okay and we can either use the main master valve here okay it's a shot of it there okay and you look for it into there okay and you can hang it up and you can fill up your water bottles or your pot or whatever else you want to fill up by just simply this way pull this lever down okay like so and that will open the valve and let the water out okay so with it open the water will now come out and once you're finished right you'd simply push it up to close it okay now there is an older version of this this is the late the latest version um, so this is a, um, the more latest version that they've got out okay which is apparently a better valve system that they've got here okay so that's pretty much it some other things that um, you can carry is you could keep this directly in the top of your pack and <sighs> You can plug in a, what I have here is another um, extension, alright, um, where you could plug it straight into this clean water, like so, okay, and so male into the female, another female here, <coughs> I'll just grab this other piece, and you've got a, uh, the drink valve on this one, a small drink valve, you clip it in, okay, and now you can drink straight from this, from your pack if you wish to, okay, or if you just wanted to, while you're filling up with water, have a drink, you could unplug it and um, start drinking from here, okay, now if you were to unplug it from here, and this was this other part here was all still hooked up. The water's still going to keep coming out of here, clean water. You don't want to waste that. To stop this from flowing, you just come up to the top part here and release it here. Because remember, this has a valve on it, which means no water will come out when you take out the uh, quick disconnect, which means your water stop, stops there. So whenever you want your water to stop, you just pull this one here off and it'll stop flowing. Obviously the water that's still in here will keep coming out. Let that come out, okay, and you're done. All right, and you can plug in your drinking part um, and drink away you go. All right. <clears throat> so that's the um, basic system I, I have. Um, what I'm going to, this here, what I like about this is... It's not very high, okay? I'll show you in a second. Just 
bring this back a bit. Okay, I'm not sure if this is going to fit on camera. But this is um, a meter high, alright? So if I... From where the uh, tape measure hits the ground there at the bottom, okay, going up, it's a meter up to the bottom of the tape measure here, one meter. So the whole system is just over one meter high. So basically you could hold this, okay, if, if you had no trees, or if you've got a tree around, you can attach this to a tree, okay, or a branch, or um, whatever you want to do, make a small tripod. Or, if, worst case scenario, you've got no tree, you're out in what we call open country, you can just hold it there like that. It'll take 15, 20 minutes, okay, not a biggie. You can, you can filter your water anywhere through gravity, okay, you just got to just hold it there, okay, that's not a biggie. Um... You don't need to fill up your dirty bag here uh, when this is hanging above it and fill straight into it. You can place, I'll just take this down to the ground so you can see. You can initially have your dirty bag um, on the water, or oh, correction, on the ground. Okay, you can have your dirty bag on the ground and tie your uh, middle bank bag up and fill it up, like so. Alright, so you fill it up while it's on the ground, and that's what you technically want to do, fill it up while it's on the ground, and then once it's done, once this is filled up, put the lid back on, okay, and then you'd hang it up or hold it up to um, filter your uh, water, okay. Now, we could do it with less than a metre. Okay, if I was holding it just here, where you can see me holding it, okay, that's probably, let's have a look with my tape measure. I'm just holding it here, okay, it's still be filtering because it's still using gravity from this point here, okay, and that there is under a metre. It's basically 70 centimetres high, or if I hold it at the base, okay, we're talking... We're talking about 80 centimetres, okay? So just under 80 centimetres, if I'm holding it here, all right, at 80 centimetres high, 70 to 80 centimetres high, at this height, okay, that's fine, okay? So you don't have to hold your arms up in the air and get your arms tired or whatever, okay? This is just holding them here, okay? You could even attach it to a piece of webbing while you stand there. You don't actually have to hold it, just attach it to your body. Or whatever you want to do okay so um, just an absolute brilliant system uh, there's no mechanical um, items in it so things aren't going to break okay so I'll just leave that on the door handle there all right so there's, there's another way all right just hang it on the door handle and just let it do its job so how much um, water can this filter? One of the biggest things with me that I was looking for in a filtration system was a water filtration system was a filter that I didn't have to keep replacing. Um, you don't want something that's going to last you a couple of years and then you need to replace it again. Um, you, I was looking for something that would last long term. Okay, long term. When I mean long term. This one here would last one person a lifetime, okay, um, easily, all right. I can't remember how many gallons or how many litres it is um, that you can um, do on this, but it'll last you a lifetime easily of uh, fresh, clean drinking water that you can uh, safely drink. To some degree, in a... In a um, emergency situation if something went on for long term um, this here could probably last I would say two to three people maybe two adults and a child something like that um, you know when you're being really careful with the amount of water you're using which you'd be doing anyway 
this this will get you through. It it, it might last you um, between the three of yous maybe you know fifteen years. You know, um, which I don't know. I'm just I'm just sort of I haven't worked it out a hundred percent, but I know that it can last at least one person a lifetime easily. So I'm guesstimating that if you stretch out your water, you could probably do it for three people. Um, so that's that's something else to um, consider. That was that was a big, big, big selling point for me. Something that I can just it'll just keep going. Now it can get clogged up. So the actual filter, the 0.02 micron filter, can get clogged up. So what you have to do there is you have to back flush it. Okay, which means um, which means when the water is going through <coughs> okay so the flow of the water you see the arrow here when the flow of the water goes through that way and out this way um, the, the filter can over time get clogged up so what you have to do is you have to put clean water from this end okay and flip it over right and run clean drinking water through the filter that way to push out any dirty nasties that are in here out through this tube and out okay and it doesn't take much you can um, you can you know fire fire the water through this um, or you can blow it okay remember the, the clean water's come out through here so that's fine so you can put your mouth on it and just really blow it hard to get the nasty water out through here but you need to do a fair bit of water okay not too much another option if you're not in the field okay another option is to get a clean bag okay or a pump or something and just really pump the clean water through here and out okay that is an option Another option that you get in the package is um, this thing here called a faucet. I think it's called a, a faucet, something faucet something. Okay, and you'd connect this part, this rubber part here, onto a tap. Okay, um, so, you, so you know you turn your tap and your water comes out. Okay, the what's called the faucet, and you'd put this rubber part onto the faucet like that. You'd hold it there, right? Well, you'd plug this part here in first, the female end into the male end like so okay put this rubber bit onto the faucet okay right turn your tap on not full speed just turn it on build the pressure up a little bit till you know it's, it's getting enough pressure going through there so you got the very clean water coming through here and down through into the filter and cleaning out the filter all right that will give your filter the longevity that it needs. That, that, that way it will last you a lifetime if you look after it. Now, the water that you're getting out of the faucet, out of the tap, hose, whatever, you need to make sure that that water that's coming through here is clean water, okay? So you need to make sure it's clean water. It's either water that you've already filtered, okay, and you that you've already filtered that's in your clean bag and you know it's clean okay you can push that water through here and clean it out if you're in a con another country where you're suspect about the water that you're getting out of the tap you don't want to clear out your filter clean out your filter using bad water okay because then you're getting bad water uh, contaminants in this end you only want to like clean it out with clean water okay so the faucet piece here is a, a way of cleaning it out okay another thing you can do is um, to clean it out is you can use um, when you get some water you might get some water from somewhere and um, put some bleach in it or put some iodine in it iodine iodine whatever you want to call it Okay, um, and treat the treat the water that you've got, make it clean, and then pump pump that through, put it in your mouth, and push, you know, 
push that clean water through, okay, to clean out this here. So you can do it in the field, you can blow it, you can use a pump, uh, you can use pressure to push, force that water through, or you can do it on a tap. So there's multiple ways of cleaning this out. Um, and uh, cleaning it out with um, bleach or iodine or something like that. Um, yeah. If you're going to use iodine or bleach, make sure you go through the normal process of um, uh, the. Don't overdo it with the. You know, you got to mix the iodine or mix the um, chlorine with uh, water. So I think it's about. You know, you're talking. I don't know, maybe three three drops. Okay, like teardrops. Okay, three drops of uh, chlorine or iodine to one liter of water okay let that settle in for half an hour or so okay at least half an hour let it let it do its job kill anything in there and then use that then you can put that that water into your mouth and push it through to clean out your filter okay and you need to use a fair amount of pressure from your mouth blowing it out okay so that's really important so i've covered that quite a bit because this is the key to the whole system this is the main part okay um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause it and I'm going to chuck it on the bed and um, I'm going to show you uh, a couple of other actually I'll, I'll pull out the dirty bag so you can see the dirty bag and I'll show you a couple of the other items that I have um, that I use for the uh, system the system here as well so I'll be back shortly. Okay, so welcome back. Here's um, I've laid it all out on the bed for you. Okay, and uh, just zooming up to the end there. Okay, we have our uh, mill bank bag there on the left. Um, the dirty bag um, backpack. Okay, that I've uh, just modified to fit the actual dirty bag. So there's the actual dirty bag there. All right. Um, that has the, uh, the, the, the valve, okay, there's the valve, valve on it, so that, that valve is a, um, well, it has a valve in it where the water won't come out unless you plug something in, as I said earlier. The other bag there that you can see there, that's just a, um, a cheapo, um, well, not a cheapo, but yeah, it's a cheapo, um, water bag. Uh, I think it holds about 2.5 litres, um. And uh, what I've done is on the end of it, on the end of this bag here, uh, this valve that it came with was just had no, sorry, this, this connection here had no uh, valve. So I've added a female uh, quick disconnect um, onto this um, so that the water won't come out. Um, and pretty much an old bag that's been more modified now that i can now use this with the system so this bag here is um what i would class as a uh a dirty bag um that's extra so i can carry extra water okay um it's just a backup and i've just got it hooked up with some uh uh cordage okay some paracord 550 paracord all right so it's like so, all right. Paracord is the uh, carry carry handle for it, um, and just the extra paracord. Okay, um, so if if this this dirty bag here, if my main uh, dirty bag, if my main dirty bag here, if something was to actually go wrong with that, okay, I could use this backup one. All right. Um, and that's that's all it's there for. It's just it's just backup and extra uh, water for filtering if need be. Okay, um, going down, you can see the uh, the double double disconnect. All right, the small uh, disconnect here. All right, that I showed you earlier. All right. Now the other option I have is additional equipment is what comes with the actual uh, bag itself is um, this grey the grey tube here okay it's got uh, 
uh, male adapter on each end, okay, and they have no valves on them, just straight through, okay, and um, if I need to, I can uh, plug this here straight into the dirty bag, water will start fil filtering straight out of here, if I need the extra length, Okay, so before I showed you where it was very small to the ground, very short to the ground, low to the ground. Okay, if I need the extra length, I can plug the Sawyer filter, 0 0.02 micron filter in there, and I've got longer, a longer bit of tubing. Okay, and this tubing here, I've also got, uh, I'll just take that off. It's also got, comes with a uh, shut off um, switch, so obviously when I plug it in, the water's going to start flowing, dirty water. So I can shut that water off using this uh, connection point here by just pushing it in, snapping it in, and that's going to stop the water from flowing out. Okay. Now, the good thing about this is I can use this dirty water bag to fill up a cups canteen, okay, so here's cups canteen here, alright, here's our cups canteen, alright, and I could uh, unclip the, unclip the clip, and just let the water flow through, and into the cups canteen, stop it if I need to, and go and boil the water, okay, so if I do have a fire running, um, or whatever, some form of heat source, I can then boil the water and do it that way, okay? And boiling the water will get rid of all the nasties as well, okay? Uh, but we talked about that before, um, that, that's the other option, okay? So then, while you're boiling the water, you don't have to use the filter. You don't have to use the charcoal filter, okay? Or the 0 0.02 micron filter, and you don't have to use the charcoal filter if you're going to boil the water. The other option is to just um, fill it straight up into a um, into here, okay, unclip it, the water will start to flow out of the tube, straight into your um, bottle, okay, and then you can go and put your bottle in the fireplace, okay, and boil your water to purify your water. So this grey tube is there as a... Um, as a backup to um, give you extra length and also gives you the ability to move move the thing around to fill up whatever else you want to fill up. Okay, so we'll just take that off for now. Okay, so as we make our way down, I showed you the uh, faucet uh, thing and. Uh, it then goes through the uh, soya filter, which I showed you, and then we have the uh, carbon filters. Now, with the carbon filters, if I wanted to make it longer, if I thought that the water was really bad or was really chance of high chemicals in the water or even potentially radiation uh, in the uh, water, okay, I could hook up one uh, charcoal filter and then... I could hook up another charcoal filter and have uh, the 0 0.02 micron filter, an activated charcoal filter, and an activated charcoal filter. Okay, and of course these could just, just keep having extra ones on um, as many as you needed, or you felt you needed, to help clean out your water. Will it clean out radiation? I don't know. Um, um, I don't know anyone that's actually would be willing to try it either. Okay, because if it doesn't work, it's 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 going to poison you. Okay, you're going to die. Um, but uh, preparation is about doing the best you can with what you can. Okay, so that's another option. Okay, as we uh, move down, I'll just take one of these one of these here off. As we move down, um, as I showed you with the smaller scale. Okay, with the smaller scale I use the uh, tube here, the small tube, clear tube, to uh, keep it nice and um, the length short. 
The other option that we have, that I have, is the drinking tube that I showed you. This is a drinking tube, okay? I could, if I needed to make it longer, the because it was a high tree or, you know, high branches or whatever that I was hanging the item from, I could plug it in and I could use this long cord to plug into the, um, straight into the uh, clean bag. Alright, and um, if I needed to make it a little bit longer, I could attach the, attach the extra clear view onto that and onto that like that. Okay, the other option we've got with this is that we don't have to put this clean water straight into the clean bag. We could grab our cups canteen, fill up the water into here and use this for shaving, use it for cleaning our dishes, use it for uh, having a drink of cold water, okay? Um, and the beauty, good thing about this is you're getting cold water, okay? Whereas if you, if you heat your water up and boil it, you've got to give it time to cool down. Um, this will keep the taste of your water as well, okay? By doing it, uh, filtering it this way, okay? The other thing we can do is we can fill up our water bottles, okay, with clean, fresh drinking water, um, and we've got clean, fresh drinking water. Put that in your webbing or your pack, and you're good to go, all right? And with the long cord here, we've got movement. We can, we can fill it up wherever we want, okay? Um, if we need to stop the uh, flow of the water, all we simply got to do is go back to the... Um, this piece here, if this piece here is on, and clip it closed. Right, remembering that this will be up this end, clip it closed, and it will stop the flow of the water, apart, apart from the water that's currently in the system. Okay, the other option is if we've got the small one, the small double male end on here, is just unclip that, take it out, and this, the, the water will stop flowing. Okay, if we wanted to, to stop it from flowing. Okay, so um, those are some of the items that I'm using. Um, I have bought extra um, clips and pieces to, to, to make this uh, workable for what I wanted. Um, and I'll show you the items that, extra items that I bought to uh, fit, fit all this together. So extra items I bought... Okay, not including the, uh, the, the, the charcoal filters, that, that's in another video, and the parts I use for those are in another video, including the disc, quick disconnects, I'll put those to the side. Okay, extra parts that I um, purchased for this was um, one, two, three... I purchased uh, three male uh, quick disconnects. Three males here. One, one on the uh, one on the long. This is the the long green cord. Okay, one male there. I the uh, male on the um, drinking valve, okay, and the male on the small uh, tube, piece of tubing. Okay, so those are the three male connections that I uh, added to the system that I had to purchase, and those three pieces there are called... Um, the item number is called APC22004. It is APC22004. That's the name of the item. Uh, one quarter HB NV. I think it's an IL for inline and then insert. And I got three of those. The other item, and these here don't have valves in them, okay? 
The other item that I uh, got that I've added to this is uh, one female um, quick, dis quick disconnect here, quick connect. Um, and this one is, doesn't have a valve in it either, it just goes straight through. All right, so there's no valve on the inside. And that item number is um, the item number is uh, APC17004, and that's the item number, the name of it there, coupling body, blah, 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 one. So that's what I added to this. And the other two disconnects that I used was um, on the end of the uh, long green tube here, this one here, uh, the female, and this has a valve in it, so that's that's what the valve, the ones with the valve looks like. So this one will stop water from coming out unless you click a male end in. Okay, then the water will flow. And so this one here, um, is called the APCD one seven zero zero. SH and that's the name of it there body with shroud two okay so I use two of them one on the screen cord and one over here on this um, cheap Charlie reasonably cheap Charlie uh, water bladder okay this is the other one so it's got this one's got a female valve on it and this bladder here actually came out of that uh, camouflage um, carry bag that I'm using. So I took this out of that and I put the other one into it. Okay, the only other items that I've used is the the drinking tube here, right? So that comes off it's just a cheap Charlie drinking tube until I get myself a, um, a better one. Okay, this does the job. This actually came with this water bladder and the camouflage bag, okay? And I just cut, it had a green tube, the green tube here on it. I just cut that off and added the quick disconnect to one end of it. And the rest of the, uh, the uh, tube that came from that is this one here, this green one here, okay? So I prefer to use this than the one that came with the actual... Um, product was this blue one okay so this blue one here actually came with the uh, Sawyer system but I decided not to use this okay um, because it just stands out too much in the bush I mean you can see it it's just you, you, you're spotted a mile away okay so that's this one is I'm using this one's much better the actual strap that came with the system, it's a uh, S-clip, okay, for holding up your water bladder or whatever. I'm just using a bit of webbing, okay, to do that, to hold it up instead, because um, the webbing that I've got is a little bit better, stronger, less chance of fraying, and I've got um, a quick, quick uh, snap clip that I can uh, use, okay. Prices for these, I don't know if I showed you the prices. Um, okay, so these those there. The top one, okay, the one, the one from the top. Okay, that was, uh, was it $5.93. And the Okay, the um, the one with the three, the three uh, male, is the next one down. So that was uh, three dollars nineteen each, and the one, the two, the two down here, the two uh, female ones with the valves, they cost the most. Okay, you're talking uh, twenty one dollars and thirty six cents each. Okay, so the one, the female ones with the valves are the most expensive, but they're the ones that stop the water flow. Okay, and um, 
and that's what you that's what you want when you need it okay the only other item that I have is um, that I've purchased is a uh, just a clear mesh breathable bag okay it's a little big than what I need it for um, but um, that I can just chuck the clean bag and other items in this chuck it in the top of my pack and um, it can breathe okay so you're not going to get remember we're dealing with water uh, we don't want it all moldy and uh, things like that we want it to be able to to dry out somewhat okay or to have some air okay so that's why I've got this here alright um, where did I get these items from I showed it in my last video um, but I'll, I'll show you again um, I got the uh, quick disconnects from a place called uh, Connect to Control Limited, okay, and uh, that's their contact number there, and they're in, um, um, I think it's Pam Muir, okay, uh, in Auckland City, uh, New Zealand, alright, uh, for those that are in the Southern Hemisphere. Alright, I did buy extra items, as you can see in the, uh, the, 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 uh, the uh, tax invoice there, you can see I got extra um, um, bits and pieces like uh, male adapters, clip disconnects and female and I've just got a few extra in case I decide to add to the system itself alright, if I decide to add to the system itself okay so um, that's uh, pretty much my uh, uh, my new filtration system um, I've been wanting to um, put something together uh, for something that I believe will work extremely well and that I can uh, have a free free mind to know that the water that's coming out is clean and safe to drink for me and my uh, whanau and um, hopefully it will help some of you out there uh, if you don't have a current water system set up in your, uh, in your preparation for emergencies and things like that so just remember that um, I I think if you're f you're just learning to get into uh, preparation to prepare yourself, uh, whether it's for civil defence emergencies or whatever can happen in the world, um, the world's in a real funny place at the moment. A um, lot of potential dangers, and um, that I've seen over my lifetime, th seeing things build up, and um, so you want to be prepared. But I, I live by a philosophy of in preparation, and that's um, and you'll see it when I do my next video. I'm going to be showing doing stuff that I carry in my pack, and I've been working on this for a number of years um, to try and um, to get it up there. And I'm still working on it; it's still work in progress. But you can survive for three minutes without air. Okay, um, I don't care who you are; you can survive about three minutes without oxygen. Okay, and then you're dead. Okay, so if the the air or the is is polluted with, through ever whatever reasons or whatever, you got three minutes. Okay, um, if you don't have any air whatsoever at all, but if you're breathing in real bad air, uh, whether it's contaminated somehow, over a period of time you're going to get sick, you're going to get ill, you're going to die potentially. Okay, so the only way you can protect yourself from that is potentially with a gas mask. Okay. Um, so that would be your first thing as a prepper um, to prepare yourself for emergency is a gas mask. Okay, uh, they're not cheap. Um, so, but look around. Okay, um, the next thing is so that's three minutes without oxygen, three minutes without air, three days without water. Okay, so that's your next priority. You want to focus and prioritize on a water purification system to make sure you're getting rid of the bacteria and the viruses and the rest of the crap and the chemicals and potentially radiation um, if it heads that way okay you wanna have clean safe drinking water okay if you don't have any water at all you can't last for three days but if you do find water and it's dirty it's unclean whatever even if it's raining okay if it's contaminated in the atmosphere all right the rain that's coming down is going to be contaminated water you need to be able to filter your water as best you can 
um, and uh, to make it drinkable. And just boiling your water, um, when it comes to, let's say, worst case scenario, if it's radiation, just boiling your water alone will not get rid of radiation that I'm aware of, okay? And I'm not about to try it, test it out. Okay, it needs to be going through some kind of charcoal system at best. And the reason why I say that is when you wear a gas mask, uh, you, you, we've got biological, chemical, nuclear warfare gas masks. You're breathing the air that has radiation in it through charcoal, activated charcoal. And that cleans the air that you can breathe. Okay, it's the best thing for you to be able to breathe safe air. So if that's going to stop radiation in the air, chances are activated charcoal will take out, hopefully, radiation in your water. Okay, so you can survive three minutes without water, but it must be clean water. If it's not clean water, you're going to get sick and you're going to die over time anyway. All right. The next one is um, three days. You can survive three days without shelter. And I'm going to get into that in more depth in my next video, okay? So, and that's quite a full-on one, okay? And it's a little bit complicated for some people. They sort of get mixed up in areas of preparation uh, when it comes to three days by shelter because it, it, it's varying into different areas. Um, and then the last one is uh, three weeks without food, okay? So three weeks without food, you need to be able to provide yourself with clean edible food as best you possibly can all right and uh, uh, three weeks without food and that, that's about it okay so those are the uh, general priorities of uh, preparation and then you've got a bunch of other things that come on top of that um, which don't lead into any of those things that I just mentioned it's talking about all kinds of other things like navigation and all those kind of things which you don't 100% need but are certainly going to be helpful in, in some situations. Okay, so uh, hopefully that demonstrates the seriousness of having a good water purification system. I haven't had one for quite some time. I've relied purely on boiling water. Um, however, um, you, you really want to have, and I would say it's a need, okay, it's not a want, a need to have a system set up that you can clean, purify your water um, as best you possibly can as a backup from boiling your water. Okay, I do have one other system um, that I'll probably show you, well, I will show you when I, um, I do the next video on my pack, and um, that's completely different to this system, but it is a, it is a uh, completely separate system to this, um, and it's about distilling water. So, um, but I'll show you, I'll show you that in my pack and I might actually do a separate video on that. Anyway, uh, thanks for coming along. Hopefully I've uh, shared some knowledge and some ideas. And um, if you do one of these systems yourself, you'll probably throw your own spin on it like I have. Um, uh, I want to thank um, some of the other YouTubers out there for sharing their knowledge and uh, the way they've got their system set up. Um, uh, special thanks to uh, ZHead187 YouTuber um, thank you to him for his system my system is very similar to his with a with my own few uh, changes on it um, but uh, much appreciated for your ideas as well and uh, take care everybody and uh, I hope you all have a good year for 2018 and um, we'll see you on the next video cheers thanks for coming along bye bye Sorry about that, I just want to add in one thing I forgot, and that is um, when you're using, uh, before you use your filter, um, you want to preload it, okay? What I mean by that is uh, you need to use either your uh, faucet adapter and fire water through it, okay, until the water fills up in here and it starts flowing out nicely, okay? Or fill it up from a tap straight through, you don't necessarily need to use a faucet fill it up straight through uh, from a stream or, or whatever you want to do or some form of water source going through here and out um, before you connect it all up okay if you don't do that all you're going to do is get be getting little drips 
okay and it won't be flowing so I forgot to mention you need to load this up um, before you start going through you know having the whole thing connected from the bottom end okay so have the water flowing first load this fill it up with water get it loaded okay flowing through and then connect everything else and away you go so sorry about that I forgot to mention it cheers